Today, I'm gonna to show you how not to lose five or six marks in TOEIC reading. And it is all about adverbs. So what we're going to do is we're gonna quickly talk about adverbs and look at seven TOEIC examples. Yes, seven real TOEIC examples. Isn't that exciting? Before we start, please share, like, subscribe, comment, question, whatever you do, hit that button. The thing that motivates me. All right, so let's get started. We are going to look at adverbs. Truly understand what an adverb does. An adverb usually ends in ly. Usually it ends in ly, and it describes a verb, adjective, adverb, and sometimes a whole sentence. The adverbs are highlighted in the following sentences. Let's take a look. She effortlessly solved the extremely difficult problem. It's a fancy sentence, yes, but effortlessly modifies the verb solved. Solve is the verb, effortlessly solved. So with little effort. Excre uh, extremely, tough word, extremely modifies the adjective difficult. It is extremely difficult. So it modifies that adjective difficult. Let's look at another example. The price increased significantly more quickly than people had expected. Significantly is an adverb that modifies the adverb more. More modifies the adverb quickly. Quickly modifies the verb increased. So you can see here, we have three adverbs jammed together. Let's look at an example of what we call a sentence adverb. A sentence adverb is an adverb that goes at the, usually goes at the start of a sentence and it describes the whole sentence. So, increasingly, workers are turning to the gig economy to make ends meet. All right, so that would be an example of a sentence adverb. Number four, I was deeply disappointed with my shockingly low score on the exam deeply describes or modifies disappointed that's an adjective here and shockingly modifies low all right so let's look at an example here and i'd like you to tell me if you need an adverb here so let's look at number one if this is toic it says due to its heavy foot traffic the mall has to blank polish the floors so would you need an adverb here? The answer is yes, because you're describing polish. Polish is, is a verb. So maybe you would say regularly polish the floors, frequently polish the floors. You have an adverb because it's describing the verb polish. Let's look at number two. There is a hmm problem at the store. Do you need an adverb? No course not because problem is a noun so you would use an adjective there is a major problem there is a huge problem there is a significant problem but no l y let's look at number three i blank encourage you to deal with this issue immediately what do you think definitely you need an adverb because it's describing encourage Let's look at two more. The magazine is blank than last year. Do you need an adverb? No, you don't because you are describing the magazine. When you have a be verb like is, are, was, you don't wanna put an adverb after this. You're gonna have an adjective here. So the magazine is different than last year, larger than last year. But if we look at number six, or the next question, the magazine looks blank different than last year. You would have an adverb because you're describing different. So you might say the magazine looks substantially different than last year or shockingly different than last year because you are describing different. All right, let's look at a few TOEIC questions. We're actually going to look at seven. Seven! So let's look at number one. You can pause the screen if you want. 
after checking the vehicle, the mechanic blank identified what had caused the brakes to stop working. So what do you think? You definitely need an adverb here because the mechanic blank identified. Identified is a verb, so let's describe it with an adverb. How did she identify it? Correctly. She correctly identified it. All right, let's look at number two. You can pause the screen if you want. Blank occurring substances are found in the supplements instead of chemicals. So, what do you think? Yes, you do need an adverb here because occurring can be called an adjective here. So, you're describing how it's occurring. And here, you're describing how it's occurring, and you're going to say naturally, because it's describing the occurring. It's not describing the substance, so naturally occurring. Let's look at number three. The manager made a blank decision when she accepted the blame for the lack of sales in her department. It's the answer. Well, you do not need an adverb here because decision is a noun. So you're probably going to use an adjective. And the best adjective here would be C, honorable decision, which means you are able to respect this decision. You are able to honor it. You are not going to use D because decision is a noun. So we describe a noun with an adjective, not an adverb. All right, we've got four more. During peak times, it is for the company to have over a hundred staff members on site. Well, here we just have it is blank and we don't have an adjective after that. We don't have even a noun after that. So here we're going to pick not an adverb. So C is wrong and we're going to pick B. It is necessary. That's like saying it is difficult for me to do this work. So here you're picking an adjective. It is necessary. Now you might say, what about A? Can't I say it is necessity? Necessity is a noun so you, and it is countable. So you would say it is a necessity. So the best answer is necessary. All right, we have three more questions and then we're done. Number five, although its profit margins were slim, so very small, the company blank lowered its prices. The company blank lowered. Well, here we are describing lowered. Lowered is a verb here. So we're going to pick C, an adverb, hesitantly. All right, we have two more and then we're done. We're almost done. The government program used to offer financial aid but now it provides blank services. It provides blank services. Wait a second, services here is a noun. I provide service. What type of services do I provide? Well, I'm not gonna use an adverb because services here is a noun, so I'm gonna need an adjective. And my only adjective here is C, legal. So no adverb there because we are describing services, which is the noun. And finally, the last one. It says blank, the government felt pressure to abandon its plans to legalize several controlled substances. So legalize means make legal. So what should we do here? Well, all of these grammatically could be correct. But in TOEIC, if you use therefore, however, or regardless, not regardless of, but regardless, you need to have a sentence before it. For example, um, if we said therefore, you could say many people complained. Therefore, the government felt pressure to abandon its plan. However, we don't have a sentence before. So we're not going to pick A, C, or D. So our, sorry, we're not going to pick A, B, or D. Sorry about that. So the answer here is increasingly. We're using the sentence adverb increasingly, 
which is more and more. Now, you could also put the government increasingly felt pressure. Or if you want to be more dramatic, you can put it at the start and say increasingly the government felt pressure. All right. So this is a way to add three, four, five, even six points to your TOEIC score. Adverbs are essential knowledge. Hopefully this lesson helped. Please help me by subscribing, liking, sharing. Everyone, have a wonderful day.